Like and subscribe right now, or the spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. The ocean is all about survival of the fittest. It doesn't depend on your body size or strength. It's all about time and chance. In today's video, I'm going to show you the 10 times sea animals messed with the wrong opponent, and it ended up getting very ugly. Stay tuned as I take you through, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and tick that little bell. Number 1. Loggerhead Sea Turtle vs. Crab It's rare for loggerhead turtles to be attacked by their predators because of their disappointing hard shells. However, amidst these strong ocean currents were several cute baby loggerhead sea turtles being tossed around. Before these baby turtles got their hang around the strong currents, a crab was already posted, ready for lunch. There's only one way that this could have gone when the crab devours the baby loggerhead sea turtle. Surprisingly, with a little kicking and struggling, the crab lost its grip and let its only meal go. Watching the crab rip the baby turtle by the neck would have made this the most terrifying and heartless moment in turtle history. That was a close one. Number 2. Crocodile vs. Great White have you ever watched a fight and knew who you thought would win before it started? Well, here's another fight that I'm sure you'll guess the winner right away. Salty water crocs are considered to have the strongest bites compared to any other animal on the planet, and could weigh up to a ton. The great white shark on the other side is a whole different beast. It could literally tear a seal in half with just a bite and weighs twice as much as a croc. This is a match worth watching. One sunny day, the salty croc took a dip to cool down and see the surroundings as the great white shark was out hunting. For a minute, I was sure that the croc was going to be torn immediately, but it looks like he had a move already in play. The croc bit the shark's fin and did the death roll to tear it off. This just made the great white shark even more pissed and definitely came back for a rematch. This time around, the croc bit the shark's upper mouth and once again did a death roll that took them to the bottom. The croc let go of the shark to probably feel good about its victory, when the great white shark sprung up again and bit the croc in half on its blind side. This was a good fight, but we all knew how this would unfold. There's a reason they're called Great White. Number 3. Moray Eel vs. Octopus Animals can be pretty territorial at times. As much as it's a good thing because everyone loves their private space, sometimes they forget who they're facing in their territory. As the octopus slowly crept toward the moray eel's territory, it had no idea that someone was home. The occasionally shy moray eels are one of the coral reef's most efficient predators. They have rows of dangerously sharp teeth, a snake-like body, and an elusive lifestyle. Despite their intimidating appearance, moray eels aren't violent but they've been known to protect their lairs by snapping at any imagined threats. The moment these two creatures locked eyes, there was a big tussle. The eel went straight to killer mode as the octopus rolled up its tentacles to save itself from the eel's bites. When the octopus finally got the opening it needed, it sure didn't hesitate to flee without a leg. It was no match for the fast and violent eel. It was even lucky that all it lost was a leg. It could have been a lot worse. Number 4. Lobsters vs. Triggerfish Lobsters know that a hard shell isn't enough to stop the triggerfish from devouring them. To ensure their survival, they normally travel as a group, so it's hard for their predators to get them. I think the one rule they forget to mention is that all the lobsters should keep up with the crew's pace. This one unfortunate lobster was lurking behind when the triggerfish saw the opportunity to strike. All the triggerfish had to do was begin disarming the lobster by biting its spiny antenna. Right after that, it goes straight for the legs to immobilize them. At this point, the triggerfish had already won, while the lobster hadn't even landed a strike. The triggerfish got really lucky today, thanks to the slow lobster. Number 5. Sea Lion vs. Orca Although sea lions are very cute and cuddly, they have very strong jaws, as do four Dobermans. However, there are far more dangerous creatures in the ocean than they are. The orca is a tiger that never hesitates to make a perfect kill. Using its patient skills, the killer whale kept its distance from the park of sea lions until one moved away from the park. This became the perfect opportunity to strike. Before the sea lion could even steady itself, the hungry orca quickly made a move and injured the sea lion. 
The work wasn't done yet, and the Orca was aware of that. It had to take its time again until it saw the perfect opportunity. The sea lion on the other side struggled to reach the shore while keeping its eyes open for an impending attack. With it being outnumbered and the injuries slowing the sea lion down, the orca takes advantage of that weakness. The coordinating killer whales kept sending blow after blow after blow until the sea lion was completely overpowered. Number 6. Hammerhead vs. Stingray The ocean isn't for weaklings. All the creatures in it always have one aim, to stay alive at all costs. It seems like this hammerhead had a plan for survival by hunting close to the seabed. Meanwhile, the stingray tried to stay hidden in the ocean flow, since it already sensed the danger that was imminent. Not only was the hammerhead out sniffing on the ocean bed, but also a few sharks were hoping to find something, and the stingray couldn't blow its cover. When it could no longer stay hidden, it quickly jetted off, but the hammerhead had already spotted it and started the chase. The stingray evidently was no match for the hammerhead, but was willing to stay alive as long as it took. There was no way it was going to be an easy meal, so it kept maneuvering around, making it hard for the hammerhead to get it. It wasn't long before the hammerhead got a hold of it and immobilized it. The stingray, however, put up a hell of a show, as it made a fool out of the hammerhead by swimming between the sharks, delaying the hammerhead's mealtime. Number 7. Otter vs. Anaconda The anaconda is the biggest snake species on the planet. Picturing the anaconda in a fight with any creature, the opponent should at least be its size to make it a fair fight. It's funny to see this daring otter pulling up to the ring and wanting to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the anaconda. The otter probably thought it could use its claws and sharp teeth to win this, but it was all futile. In fact, all the courage fled from the little otter when it nearly got bit by the anaconda. The anaconda struck once it saw the otter getting too close, and that was enough to scare the otter away. It most certainly fled, because it wasn't planning on being a meal for the not-so-hungry anaconda. Next time, the otter should stay in its lane. Number 8. Deep Sea Octopus vs. Jellyfish It's the slow creatures of the ocean that make an easy target in the ocean. A fight between a giant deep-sea octopus and a jellyfish isn't something to lose your bet on. We both know the weaklings here. The octopus is undoubtedly ten times as strong as the jellyfish. Despite the fact that the jellyfish can also stand a chance to defend itself using its stingy, painful tentacles, that's not enough to take away this giant octopus's appetite. All the jellyfish could do was just delay its predicament, which was still bound to happen. The octopus fed on the jellyfish with surprising ease. Well, you already know how soft jellyfish are. All that was left were a few tentacles stuck on the octopus, which it uses as bait for its next jelly meal. Number 9. Fur Seals vs. Great White Sharks Sharks are arguably the most lethal dominators of salty waters, from the ferocious attacks to their incredible strength. It's only respectable that all sea creatures fear it. But this doesn't work on a pack of fur seals. These babies are very territorial and often work as a team when a threat is imminent. After successfully tearing down a baby seal, the shark had to get more of the taste, and where else could it get enough than at their peace rock? Here it went the complete opposite of what the shark was expecting. All the fur seals teamed up and started chasing the shark away. The shark had no option but to flee now that it was utterly outnumbered. Although the shark could have gotten away with two or three fur seals, it wasn't worth the risk, given the whole colony was out to get it. Number 10. Leopard Seal vs. Emperor Penguin Penguins are cute, right? It almost seems impossible for sea creatures to make themselves a meal. Unfortunately, penguins are the leopard seal's favorite dessert. Right after peeping through the broken ice and noticing that the penguins won't get into the water, while it's around, it came out onto the ice and tried to get a hold of an emperor penguin, but it was too slow. The land isn't its stronghold, so the leopard seal hides behind the ice and waits. This strategy gave the penguins the idea that the leopard seal had given up and left. Countless seals started diving into the water gracefully to enjoy the cold winter water. When the leopard seal came out of its hiding, the leopard seal had already made a hefty catch with the hope of having more of them, now that all the penguins were in the water. Until next time, adios.